Blue World fans. Today, we're here for another edition of Tech with Todd. And today, we're gonna talk about one of my favorite pieces of accessory gear, the GoPro Hero series. And I have the brand new GoPro Hero 10 here for review, and we're gonna compare it to my old nine and see what the differences are. There's a few things that uh, we wanna investigate. Principally, we wanna know, is there really an overheating issue if we throw this into a dive housing and let it run at the highest resolutions? The highest resolutions are one of the big features and the big upgrades in this. There's a new uh, imaging chip inside it, which doubles the speed of pretty much everything across the board and increases the overall resolution. So we're gonna look at that as well. Right now, let's just unbox it and see what we've got. Look, your camera must be updated before it can be used. Okay, we can do that. Uh, this is the crown jewel right here. Well, this is the 10. And one of the immediate differences you can see, just so that you can identify it, is the blue lettering and the number 10 on the side, which with the nine, that is gray. Um, but I'm very happy to see that these appear to be the same size. So if I take my nine housing and I drop it into the 10. Look at that, that fits perfectly. That's good to know. That means I don't have to buy more housings or housing accessories. It also uh, means that an ion wet lens that I tend to use with these will also fit these housings. So that's gonna reduce my overall cost for, up, for the upgrade. In the past, GoPro has uh, occasionally changed their battery size and their the camera sizes and then you have to go through and it becomes a more expensive proposition to upgrade the cameras. Next, let's check the batteries. Let's take the battery out of the nine and just make sure it fits. There's nine. To do, and I can line the pins up. And actually, there it is. Boom, that looks great. And let's just power it on. Power's right up, good to go. Front screens seem to be about the same size. Rear screens are the same. Looks like exactly the same camera, to be honest. So that's actually good to know. So one of the big rumors going on is that without airflow, when you set the GoPro 10 to its highest resolution and highest frame rates, it's gonna overheat without, within about 20 minutes. So the question is, is that without airflow gonna cause that problem inside a dive housing? That's mostly what I'm concerned with and I want to find that out. Okay, now we're going to take the cameras out. We're going to go field test them and find out how they perform underwater and what kind of image quality we're seeing. So I've got the Hero 9 and the Hero 10 in housings here. And what I'm going to test is whether they're going to overheat at their maximum resolution, which is a 4K for the 9 and a 5.3-ish K on the 10. So we're at Merritt's Mill Pond. Uh, which is spring fed by Jackson Blue, which is a first magnitude spring. So the water in this pond is kind of a year round consistent sort of 70 degrees at the surface. So it represents a very average temperature for a typical scuba diver. Um, and so I think this is a good real world test of the GoPro's ability to run for long periods of time in a housing. So here's the problem. There's no airflow in a housing to cool the camera. So it can get very hot in there, but if it's immersed in water that's of a reasonable temperature, will that help keep it cool enough that it'll run? So we've never had really problems with our other GoPros um, up to the nine, right, Todd? I mean, we've, yeah. you've never had a problem. So um, this is really like we read on the internet that the 10 has overheating issues, and we really love that 5.3K resolution of the, of the 10. And so what we wanna find out is, you know, can we really use it? So I've just attached them to a reel here, uh, just for convenience. I've set the reel size, so we're just gonna dangle them into the water now. Bloop. We're gonna look at, uh, set a little timer here. There we go, and they're running. All right. Let's uh, check back later. Check back later. Let's go diving. <laughs> Time to check on our cameras. Let's see how they perform. Now both cameras are off, which you kind of expected because we ran them for an hour and 15 minutes. So it's perfectly reasonable that the battery is gonna be dead at that time. GoPros generally last about an hour. Uh, let's take them inside and 
see what we got. So the results of our GoPro test are in. We're here in North Florida, the water was 68 degrees. We found the GoPro Hero 10 lasted for 33 minutes on a full record. Didn't run out of battery, didn't run out of card, it overheated. The GoPro Hero 9, in contrast, lasted 57 minutes, which is the amount of time it took to run the battery out. So, be warned, if you're using the GoPro Hero 5 full out, full resolution, which is 5.3K at 60 frames per second, it's gonna overheat, even in the dive housing, even in relatively cool water.